What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name is Lloyd. Today I have a very special guest here, Mr. Dave Parada. What's going on guys? Dave Parada is here. We are going to dissect some horrific text conversations that some of our uh, followers, viewers, they shall remain nameless, have sent us. And basically what we're going to do is we'll be getting a lot of questions from guys wondering how to not be needy over text. Well, by the end of this video, I think they're going to know how to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Let's get right into it. Basically, this first text conversation, this is kind of, we've changed a few of the details around. Um, and it's basically a situation where it was going well with a girl. Um, he got this girl's number. They made plans to meet up later that day. So this is him texting uh, the morning of. So Dave, why don't we, uh, why don't you read us the first message that he sends? Let's dive in. So the first text, man, this one's a doozy. Good morning with two emojis and, and a kissy face. <laughs> Come on, man. So what do we think about that good morning text? What do you, what's your opinion on the good morning text? So a lot of people will say, oh, you like send a good morning text. Like it's a, it's a good way to be sweet to a girl. Like, she's going to love it. Women say this too. I've heard a lot of women say that. Yeah, but that's not really the case. Like there's no reason to be texting a girl before 9 a.m. There's just not. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Uh, already not starting off on a good. What do we think about all those emojis too? Yeah, I mean, some emojis aren't bad, I mean, especially in your first conversation when a girl doesn't really know you yet, it, it can help you kind of express yourself a little bit more. But there's no, re there's no reason to go hammer out with two emojis. It's just not a good text, man. It's just a bad precedent for the interaction. That's a very bad precedent. My opinion about emojis, look, man, if you like doing emojis, I, they work for some people. I don't use a whole lot of emojis, but that's just who I am. But this is too many already. <laughs> So she responds with, uh, hey, how are you? So it sounds like she's playing ball, right? She's playing ball, a little bit, sounds like surprisingly. She's playing, <laughs> sounds like she's playing ball so far. Okay, uh, and then he says, I'm good, I was just thinking I miss you. Smiley face, winky face. So, so first off, there's, there's no reason for him to, to say that. Like, a girl doesn't care if you miss her. She doesn't need to know if you miss her. Yeah. She wants, she wants you to be doing other shit in your life. She, she doesn't want you to be all oh, focused on this one day. I can't wait to see you, girl. Like, that's not what she wants. Exactly. And it's actually a selfish text if you read into the nuances of it because what he's really saying is, hey, say you miss me back and we're going to see the next text message he says yeah. after that, which is going to lead <laughs> right into it. So she doesn't respond. Real shocker there. Man, I can't believe that. I can't believe that, right? And then at uh, 8.59 a.m., he gets nervous and he says, all right, do you miss me too? And then he has a bunch of cute emojis after that. Yeah, that's one of the most painful texts maybe of all time that I've, <laughs> that I've ever seen. You guys want to know what it's like to be needy over text message? You're seeing it right here. So basically, um, yeah, man, exactly what we thought was happening. And then even then she responds. She goes, yeah, okay, that should pretty much t let him know that he needs to stop doing what he's doing right now, change the pace completely. <laughs> yeah, what, what he's doing is seeking validation. He wants to know, like, okay, she misses me, she likes me, this is gonna go well. Like, he needs that confirmation to feel good about himself, to feel good about the interaction. Because at the end of the day, he doesn't believe it. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't believe it, he doesn't believe in himself. And that text message says it loud and clear to the girl. She knows right away, <laughs> this guy is not confident, he's insecure. And exactly. I don't, wanna, I don't wanna see this guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. let's, let's delve further into the cringe. Uh, so the next thing he says is good, drops the two more emojis there just to, just to prove the point, just to bring it home. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, no shocker, she doesn't respond after that because um, there's really nothing to respond to. Nothing to respond to. I mean, to even, if, yeah, yeah. even if it was going well, I wouldn't expect her to respond <laughs> to that. Uh, and then so 9.41 a.m. passes. It's about, you know, an hour or so, whatever. He's starting to sweat a little bit. And then uh, he says, are you excited? Are you excited for later today? So he's trying to confirm the date, which I assume which was what he was trying to do in the first place. He, he might as well just be like, hey, I'm a huge bitch, are you cool with that? <laughs> you might as well be saying that. You might as well be saying that, yeah, pretty much. And then she says, yeah, actually, I might have a lot of work, so I'll let you know. <sighs> so she's not cool with that. She's not cool with being a bitch. Does it sound what like she's trying to say? Does it sound like she's showing up for this date? There's no chance she shows up for this date. I bet my life she doesn't show up for she this date. She bets she's not showing up for this date. And uh, we're going to stop it right there because there's really no need to continue uh, looking at the rest of this conversation. I would say in general, there's a few things that we could touch up on here. What do you think about it when girls say, I'll let you know? Is that generally a good thing? Definitely not. When a girl says, I'll let you know, that's... Big, big red flag that she's gonna be flaking or yeah. that she's a flaky person in general. Yeah. And it's probably a sign that you either haven't set up the date in a specific 
you know, straightforward manner, or you haven't confirmed it the right way. So she's giving you this wishy-washy response. Absolutely, man. Yeah, I think, look, maybe once in a blue moon it's okay, or maybe there's certain circumstances where she literally just doesn't know her schedule and she really will let you know. Um, but most of the time, I would say, they're saying that because they're probably gonna blow you off. Or they're saying it, maybe they might see you, but they're seeing if there's something better. Okay, I'll let you know means, hey, like you're not good enough to put in my schedule quite yet. So I'm gonna see if there's something better and then maybe I'll get back to you. And, and it's no surprise after a conversation like this, so she might've been thinking, hey, I'm down to meet up with this guy at yeah. the beginning, but then he just kept swinging for the, I don't even know how to explain what he was trying to do there, but yeah. he basically just shat the bed in every single way. <laughs> and. Uh, Killed any chance of her meeting up. Yeah, and it might sound ridiculous, but guys, like honestly, look at the messages you're sending sometimes. Like I guarantee you, some of you people are sending a lot of these messages that we just outlined. So uh, if you do any of these sorts of things, you're probably in the wrong place, and this girl's yeah. not going to be that. Uh, another example of this type of text that a lot of guys might send is instead of being like, "Do you miss me?" They might be like, "Oh, did you have fun last night?" Just, just to try to get that validation, like, oh, she had fun, okay, yeah, yeah, this, yeah. this is awesome. Yeah, yeah, after a date, after a date. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, For cool. Sure. So let's go into the better version of this, which is a lot shorter. <laughs> yeah, man, we're right here, we're keeping it simple, because keep in mind, there's really only two things, two reasons you need to be texting a girl, right? It's either to build rapport with her, especially if Absolutely. you didn't get a chance to do so when you, when you met up with her, and then the second reason is to set up the date. So if you're not doing one of those things, you're probably fucking up. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, in this basically we have the same message. Um, he's sending it uh, a little bit later around 10.32 a.m. So he's not texting her like right when he wakes up. He's waiting a little bit. Alarm clock, ring, boom. <laughs> must, must text her right now. Let's go. <laughs> not that that's bad, to, like, not that it's horrible to text her at 8.32. It's not great, it's not great. It's just, uh, it's, you know, it's She's probably waking up too, that's the thing. She's probably waking up and she, she's not in the mood to text this guy right off the bat. Mm -hmm. You know, she's not in her best mood either. Whereas at 10.30, she's a little bit more woken up. She's getting her day started. So. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, yeah, a little bit more relaxed. So, hey, and then, so this is what he says. He says, hey, I got to do some errands later today, so I might be five minutes late, but I'll see you around seven. And uh, then right after that, she says, oh, totally okay. See you there. Perfect, dude. I mean, there's not really much else that needs to be said. A couple cool things that I like about this message, if you guys are worrying about being needy on text, is that he's basically saying, hey, I gotta do something, um, so I'm gonna be five minutes late. Now look, no one's gonna cancel a date for being five minutes late, but it does give them the option to tell you if they're not gonna show up. So if she was gonna blow him off, but she wasn't planning on showing up, she'd be like, oh no, that's totally okay. I have a lot of stuff to do. I'm actually not gonna be able to make it. So you just saved yourself getting stood up. Um, but a lot of times they usually, they're usually okay with it. The interaction went a little beforehand and he didn't completely blow it. So she said, yeah, totally okay. Yeah, yeah, he kept it high value, kept it simple, made it happen. And that's gonna be a date versus the last conversation yeah. where he, he screwed it all up for himself. So. Exactly. And I think you were also talking about too, Dave, how you don't even have to send that sometimes. You can just be like, hey, see you at seven, or just like a real quick message to, to confirm. And that's really all you need to do. Like, you know, yeah. in this case, less is more. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, you guys, if you're wondering about how to get your text messages up to par and like how to text girls in the right way, talk to girls in the right, right way and attract them, um, hit us both up. Like we know what we're talking about and we'll break down a couple more of these if we feel like they're helpful for you. Um, if you guys are wondering how to become a better man as well as get the girls that you want in your life, I recommend you check out Dave's channel. Is there anything they should know? Any links that they should check out for your channel? I, I have a couple of texting. I have a couple really good texting videos as well if you want to see more of those. And also, yeah, it's just going to help you get the girls you want, become the man you're meant to be. So, awesome. Let me check it out. We'll put the links in the description there. And if you can't see them on the screen, uh, you'll check in the description and they'll be right there. So, thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.